welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing another Halloween spooky look. Today I want to try a sort of diseased, infected, like pustules all over my face kind of spooky look. I know this is dabbling a little bit into the special effects territory, but as you know, I have like no experience with special effects, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to keep it like pretty simple and try to like take shortcuts to try to get to where I wanna be. Anyway, I'll be voicing over and listing everything that I use down below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so before we get into the actual makeup part of this look, you want to prep the pustules that you will be gluing onto your face. So I'm using a hot glue gun and a piece of parchment paper, and I'm squeezing out circle ovaly things um, in a couple different sizes to give myself some variety. Be careful because the glue gun can be very hot, so don't burn yourself. Getting into the actual makeup now, I'm taking some reds and some grays and just like a little bit of purple from two different eyeshadow palettes I have and I'm piling this on my eyes to make my eyes look very sunken, swollen, just like not feeling well type of look. And I'm going to do that all around my eye and like sort of the wrinkles down from my eyes. And then I'm taking the red and I am going over spots on my face where I want to glue the pustules on later. This does not have to be perfect. Um, I'm also putting in some gray into like the center of these parts. And I'm just picking spots on my face that either like already have some imperfections, so like acne scarring and stuff, just so I can cover it up. Um, and just random like asymmetrical spots on my face. And then I'd also decided to go back into my eyes because I, it wasn't dark enough. And I'm also doing that on my neck and my chest just to give myself a little bit of, you know, pustules down here as well. And then once your glue dots are absolutely completely dry and cool, you want to glue them on your face in little clusters. So I picked a couple of different sizes in a couple of different clusters and I'm actually using liquid latex to glue this on my face, but lash glue works just as well. If you're in the Halloween section, spirit gum works as well. Any sort of adhesive that your skin is not sensitive to. And then I'm going back with red and gray eyeshadow and plopping that onto the glue dots. I'm trying to transfer some of this color onto the glue dots themselves because they are very white, but also this helps create more like red on the edges of the glue dots. And I, I keep going back into my eyes, you guys. But uh, yes, some red, and I'm actually taking some of that like yellowy yellow, uh, orange as well to go on top of the pustules. This is really just to try to cover like the inherent white color of the glue so it doesn't look fake. Then I'm taking a really small brush with red eyeshadow and just like tracing a little bit around each individual glue dot. That way it just makes it look super like inflamed and irritated. Next, I'm going to take some water activated liners. Uh, I'm mixing like a black and a wine color to do veins. Water activated liners are really easy to work with because if you mess up, you can just like swab it away. It doesn't take like, you know, huge makeup wipes or anything like that. And I'm taking a really thin paintbrush and I'm just drawing squiggly veins on my face. This part, you know, you can definitely do this with like other types of eyeliner, but I just feel like using these water activated liners, uh, it gets the lines to be a little bit thinner and you don't want this to be symmetrical at all. I'm just extending these out for my pustules and also um, around my eyes. And then I'm just going to go back in with a little bit of that red and color over the veins where like it wasn't red before. You can skip this step, but I decided to get fancy with fake blood and just started to color in within the clusters, kind of between the pustules and also a little bit around it. I'm not sure how much this actually added to the look. I just wanted an excuse to use fake blood. So you could, like I said, totally skip this. I don't think this part is necessary at all. And then for my lips to get myself to look a little bit, you know, dry lips and sick, I'm taking like a brown pencil and just coloring in the inside of my lips and dabbing that out. So it looks like, you know, I might have been bleeding from the lips. And then my neck and chest was looking just a little bit too sort of uniform, like healthy. So I'm taking a little bit of that red and gray and coloring in just blotches. And to finish off my look, I'm adding in some contacts. Okay, so that is it for my tutorial today. I look so infected and so sick. That last part might have been a pun. Anyway, this did not take quite as long and as much effort as I thought it would, which was a pleasant surprise. The glue gun method actually worked quite well. I was worried that the color wasn't going to stick to it. And it was going to look too white, but I think it worked perfect. I absolutely love making this content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a spooky Halloween and I'll see you next time. Bye.